properties of millimeter waves are that they can penetrate through clothing. And the way that we utilize that technology is we illuminate the person with electromagnetic waves. Those waves reflect off objects underneath the clothing. And then we receive those signals and then we process it with a computer and form images of the concealed threat. So unlike the metal detector that only detects uh, metallic threats, this will detect both um, metal and non-metallic threats. So some of the threats that are being utilized now, such as liquid explosive and plastic explosives, are all non-metallic. The other reason is it's extremely fast. So as you go through an airport, um, you have to queue up in a line. And so this technology can scan you in like one and a half seconds. So that's very fast. So we, we want to get people through the checkpoint as fast as possible. So it took about 10 years to develop the technology. And then we uh, commercially licensed the technology after 9-11 to a startup company that was formed specifically for commercializing um, the technology. Yeah, there's an exciting application that we have deployed this technology for doing three-dimensional uh, digital body measurements. And that's really exciting in the apparel marketplace because you can actually walk into a booth, get scanned, and it will give you your three-dimensional body measurements. You can use that information then to match different um, off-the-shelf clothes like jeans. And this is actually being used at a mall in Philadelphia. We're also looking to use this for the health and fitness marketplace. So that's, that's also exciting because now you have a, a volumetric measurement of a person and we put a scale on the floor and with that you can get uh, their BMI and you could potentially get their body composition. So we're looking to uh, use this technology for the health and fitness marketplace as well. I'm Doug McMakin, I'm an electrical engineer and I'm making the United States safer at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory.